those impacts toward the coast right now. Now bear with me. This is a shaky camera, but this is water flowing past the dunes, past the first row of houses here at Merle's Inlet and now flooding the streets there heading to the second row of homes. So I show you that storm surge right there that shows you the power of the hurricane as it continues to move toward the north and the northeast. So 14 mile per hour wind, uh, uh, progress right now. It's an 85 mile per hour hurricane set to make landfall imminently here just north of Charleston County uh, heading toward Georgetown. So it'll move quickly toward the Myrtle Beach area east of Charlotte. Just because the cone is over there doesn't mean that the impacts aren't far and wide from this. This has a very large wind field and we are feeling that right now. Let me show you the wind gust. In fact, we have higher wind gusts here at home than some do in Myrtle Beach and Columbia. 43 mile per hour wind gust just clocked in Greenville while toward the coast it's sitting around 20. Reason being is we've got a cold front set right over our area, so the two are kind of funneling this in. Let me get in closer here, show you our wind gust. Now it's 40 in Greenville, 28 miles per hour there in Spartanburg, gusting at times up to 30. Now this band that's coming in right now is part of a gusty band that'll bring in some very heavy rain. I'm tracking that using our very own live Super Doppler 4 as it moves through and we can map this line out as it pushes toward the area here. Here's Spartanburg, Lawrence, Greenwood, Abbeville. This is pushing toward the west from the east and embedded in this some rounds of gusty wind. So what you can expect each round of rain that comes through like this will up the ante a little bit wind wise and bring those gusts higher at times through the area. Greenville about to get some very heavy rain fall as well as Greer. It's moving through Spartanburg right now. Princeton due west in Abbeville, then in western North Carolina, knocking on the door here from Hendersonville eastbound. Again, the winds will increase beyond this, but it's much more potent from Columbia toward the south and east. Now a thing to note, there's the center, but look at the bulk of the precipitation. It's on the north side, so as this progresses north, we're going to start to get some of that to wrap into our area as the center moves. Now looking at the center, it's making landfall right now. There's that eye wall. It goes from extremely rough weather to very calm weather shortly. There's Charleston. There's the Isle of Palms. Wind going out of Isle of Palms just north of there between Georgetown and McClellanville. That's where the landfall is happening right now with that eye going on shore as we speak as a category one hurricane. Here are the storm reports planted on top of that. You've got wind damage represented by each one of these icons, a tree down, a limb down on both sides of this eye while wrapping into Charleston there. I 26 is very dangerous right now, and I'll show you why, because look at all the wind reports well extended from this. Each one of these bands contains gusts up to 50 miles per hour, even getting closer to home on the Lawrence Newberry line responsible from that line that's moving through right now. So expect those gusts to go up and behind it we know there's been a trail of damage. So 36 miles per hour that's been the peak wind gust today and that was just a moment ago. So we're going to see these increase. Here's now a computer model that takes us into the rest of the day. Four o'clock we've got 40 50 mile per hour wind gusts. We've got rounds of heavy rainfall that will take a break and then another round comes in. Here comes another one at seven, eight, nine o'clock. Those gusts ranging from 50 to 55 miles per hour at times and that heavy rainfall can continues through about midnight. After midnight, things begin to simmer down. Those gusts go toward 10 to 15 miles per hour. The heavy rain begins to settle down, and by the time you wake up tomorrow, yes, there's still some rain, but give it some time. By the time we get to 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, look at the wind speeds five, maybe 10 miles per hour with gusts up to 20 or 30 and then the clearing. Yeah, we may even see a little bit of clearing in the skies tomorrow for that Clemson game heading our way. Here's a big component of the weather for you. It is chilly outside, low 50s. Yeah, this feels almost like a winter's rainstorm than it does a tropical system, right? It is a chilly, windy rain outside and over the next 12 hours, we've got alert hours each day with those temperatures holding tight in the mid to upper 50s. They do not budge, so this is a raw windy, wet day across the area. But what's rough today is a better day tomorrow. Temperatures will even back out into the mid 60s. Our commitment to you, we are going to keep you posted around the clock at the top of every hour, which you can count on as an update for me. I'll show you the latest storm reports, track each band that comes in, the speeds, the damage behind it, and we will stay with you. And WIFF News 4 at 4 will have much more from around the coast as well.